Well, good morning, everybody. It is uh, April 30th, and it's Thursday. Um, we are on the last day of April. We've made it through April of 2020. Uh, praise God. Um, and tomorrow morning, of, or it will be May Day, so um, it'll be interesting if there will be more or less May Day baskets. Uh, and Vicki, uh, well, no, nope, Vicki, you didn't get on first. I'm not sure who the first one was on. I don't recognize that little symbol. Um, it'll be interesting to see if there's more May Day baskets tomorrow than normal or fewer because of uh, uh, because of all of the uh, the quarantining. It'll it'll be interesting. It'll be one or the other. I'm I'm certain of it, but I don't know which way. Just like so many of things, I don't know which way it's going to fall in all of this. Um, just an, another reminder uh, that the Christian Council Tuesday night did vote to wait uh, three more weeks. Um, so they are we are won't have worship on the th this Sunday, the tenth or the seventeenth. Then they will meet on the nineteenth to decide about having church on the twenty fourth. So uh, remain in prayer for them and uh, remain in prayer for everybody. We all need it. Okay, so we want to we want to keep up on that. So just remember that, or that, that we're going to continue on as we are, uh, but we do have all the live streams. And do please tell other people about our, the live stream service and, um, so that if they are looking for some, uh, some spiritual reassurance that they can, they can take part in that. So let's go ahead and, and uh, say a prayer, and then we're going to jump into 1 John uh, chapter 3, verses 11 to 18. So again, 1 John chapter 3, 11 to 18 is where we're at this morning. So let's say a quick prayer, though, before we start. Uh, dear Heavenly Father, we do thank you for this beautiful day. We thank you for the promise of May um, and all of the that comes with the joy of spring and the, the planting of crops and the planting of gardens. And uh, uh, the, you know, so much of the, of the beauty about us comes as the flowers uh, start to bloom and the trees bloom and blossom. And uh, it's just such a wonderful, magnificent, and refreshing time of year. And Lord, help that to uh, to soothe our hearts that are that are uh, worried and and hurting because of all that's going on in the world with this um, COVID nineteen. Lord, and let us see your beauty and 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 your creation as reassurance that, that no matter how dark things seem, that you are there walking with us and and loving us and showing us the beauty that you that you create just for us to see and to. Uh, to enjoy in this in this world and we thank you for that we thank you for each other we thank you for the love uh for family and friends and and we just lift it all up to you and we pray place our faith in our in our in our lives in your hands we pray this in your glory amen okay and we are talking about love again today this is uh, the heading of this is we must love each other if you remember back on, uh, I believe it was the 23rd of, of March, we, we were looking at uh, the, my favorite verse, which is in 2 John, which um, I haven't decided yet if we're going to go 2 John, 3 John or not. Um, I guess I better figure that out. We're going to run out of 1 John, and we're going to have to move on to that uh, with the way it looks like that we'll be doing this at least another three weeks. So, um any rate, we are the the heading that I have in the New Century version for this section is we must love each other. So let's look at First John chapter three, uh, verses eleven to eighteen. This is the teaching you have heard from the beginning. We must love each other. Do not be like Cain, who belonged to the evil one and killed his brother. And why did he kill him? Because the things Cain did were evil, and the things his brother did were good. Brothers and sisters, do not be surprised when the people of the world hate you. We know we have left death and have come into life because we love each other. Whoever does not love is still dead. Everyone who loves or who hates a brother or a sister is a murderer. And know that no murderers have eternal life in them. This is how we know what real love is. Jesus gave his life for us, so we should give our lives for our brothers and sisters. Suppose someone has enough to live and sees a brother or sister in need, but does not help. Then God's love is not living in that person. My children, we should love people not only with words and talk, but by our actions and true caring. Um, and of course, this is where, where we, we've taken a bit of a shift from where we were at yesterday, where it was so hard hitting, to now 
it, it seems more loving, it, it, a kindness, but in a way it's quite condemning, isn't it? Um, we are contrast, we're not to be like Cain. And why, of course, did, did Cain kill his brother? Why did he kill him? Because the things Cain did were evil. And what was the evil that Cain did? He was jealous. He was jealous that, that, that Abel's offering was acceptable and that he his offering was viewed as not being acceptable. Um, and out of jealousy and, and spite, he, he killed his brother. And uh, we're going to look at that and wonder, are we ever jealous of one another? Uh, do we ever covet what our what our 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 friends and our families and our, and even people we don't know we look at people online and you know Facebook is a wonderful thing for making everybody look like their life is just gold you know golden sunshine and roses and everybody looks at that and thinks wow you know their life is so wonderful I'm jealous I wish my life was that you know that picturesque and that perfect you well know, it's called camera angles folks um, there's a, there, no one's life is as perfect as it appears online. Um, you know, the, the, the people that do the, the uh, Instagram channels and the YouTube channels and whatnot, uh, and all of that, I don't know the other ones. I, I don't follow all the others, like TikTok or whatever it is. I don't even know what that does. Um, but at any rate, those people's lives are not nearly as perfect as they appear. Um, but ne even if they were as perfect as they appear, we are not to be jealous of our brothers and our sisters. We're not supposed to covet what they have. We need to appreciate and we need to be thankful for what we are given. And we need to, if, if we're not comfortable with where we're at, guess what? God gave you a brain and he gave you, you know, the ability to do something. So you, no matter who you are, you have the capacity to improve your situation. Um, you just have to have the, the, uh, the incentive and the motivation to do as such. Uh, but that's an aside. He goes on from there to talk about that uh, people of the world hate us, um, and we know that we've left death and have come into life because we love each other, that love is what gives us life. Jesus' love gave us life, spiritual life. Um, whoever does not love is still dead. That, wow, that's a, that's a good one. Um, we have to be, we have to love others in order to have a real life. Um, and I think that's that there's truth to that. Um, if we just shut ourselves off and reject everyone else and isolate ourselves entirely, um, maybe we can get a, a bit of a sense of what some people do and go through um, now because of this, this social distancing and this quarantine. Um, but not having any love for others, um, that's, you're dead. You're dead to the world. Um, 15 goes on. Everyone who hates a brother or sister is a murderer. That sounds reminiscent of uh, Jesus, uh, the Sermon on the Mount, doesn't it? Um, again, you don't hate Cain and Abel. You don't hate your brother because you're jealous. Why do we hate our brother or sister? Probably because we're jealous. Um, jealous of something they have or we feel that mom or dad, you know, you always were wrong. Remember the Smother Brothers? You know, mom. That that was I always loved the Smother Brothers. I was too young to understand all the politics. So. Thank God for that. I could just laugh at the humor. Um, but that's another aside. We need to um, go on from that. This is how we know what real love is, and it defines real love by Jesus' sacrifice. Jesus gave His love for us, so we should give our lives for our brothers and sisters. Now here, he's not meaning that we go out and die uh, for our brothers and sisters. Though there may be times in, in, in the world that, we, that, we, that we, we are called to, to do that, such as protection, protecting someone from an attack, literal attack, physical attack. That's possible. But on a day-to-day -day basis, life application, my wife I don't think is on here yet, but make sure you tell her I talked about life application. Life application is our, we give our lives for our brothers and sisters. We live our life for others. That's what he's getting at. We, we need to be giving. And he says in verse 18, if we don't, didn't get that point, my children, we should love people not only with words and talk, but with our actions and true caring. Um, talk is cheap, as they say. And we need to do 
do something, live some way um, that we're showing people that we love them. And that can be in, by encouraging them, that can be by supporting them uh, physically, emotionally, uh, financially, in lots of different ways. Um, my good father, you know, wasn't a, wasn't an outwardly um, religious person, um, but he definitely loved people because he did help as many people as he could um, uh, financially, and and he he helped support his sister and many others. I've told that story before, um, but but he did do a lot of good for people because he had that the wherewithal to do that. Um, so. All of us have something to give, though, whether it be finances or whether it be reassurance and, you know, and just giving them a, a kind word or sending them a note card that out of the blue uh, or calling and visiting with them. Uh, on the 23rd, when we talked about uh, the verses in, in John or Second John, I, I encouraged you at that time about doing the calling list. And uh, I'll, I'll bring you back to that, you know, we need to be trying to make sure we call each other. Um, and I'll confess, I'm not the best at calling people. That's not really one of my talents. Um, some people have the gift of that. And so I encourage you, if that's your gift, get on the phone, or if your gift is sending cards, get out some cards uh, or just some stationery, a handwritten a note, just saying, you know, you're doing a great job, uh, hang in there, uh, you know, God loves you, whatever. Uh, it depends on the situation what needs to be said but we need to do something we need to have actions not just um, not just you know talk and talk as they say okay so with that let's live a life of love today let's try to to uh, to truly love one another and when we feel those twangs of jealousy and envy and whatnot um, remember that those uh, that that's the opposite that you know those feelings of envy and and uh, jealousy um, in a very real way that kills love and we don't want that do we so let's have a, uh, a wonderful day enjoy this it is beautiful out the wind has died down here in Lake City yesterday was such a blustery day uh, I'm hoping I look at the weather I'm hoping that we have a beautiful weekend so we can uh, we can I'll be out in our yards and enjoy God's sunshine. So, all right, we will uh, see you tonight. If you're in Lake City at 5 to 5.30, we have the drive through communion. If you want to come, come down for, for communion, please do. I'll be on the south side of the church uh, giving out little prepackaged pre -packaged and put in a plastic bag communion um, uh, servings. And uh, so we'll can give you a blessing with that. Uh, so please come in and, and take advantage of that. Or if you're not able to, tune in at 7. We'll, we'll have a, a, a short service at 7 o'clock tonight as well, down in the chapel. All right? Go, and, go forth and bless. We'll talk to you all later. Bye-bye.